good, eh? Uh, thanks for hanging around. Since I got the Vic out, since I got the working Vic out, I got a few other odds and ends that I've collected over the years that I'm, I thought might be interesting to have a quick look at. So I thought I might have a quick look at this one today. Let me uh, tidy up a bit. Hey, tidy. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think this is the original box. MFJ Enterprises in uh, Mississippi State. So MS, Mississippi, Mississippi State, don't know. So, okay, here it is, yeah. An MFJ 1258 uh, capacitance meter for the VIC-20 or Commodore 64. So I thought this was, uh, I'm always interested in little odds and ends. So we've got a, got a tape. I assume works for both. And we've got the meter. And we've got, I guess, some capacitors to test. What's that one say? 574 microfarads. Okay, 574 microfarads. And it's actually a 470. Okay, all right. And instructions and the original package. So, I thought this was interesting. Um, I'm always, like I said, I'm always interested in the odd little things like this. So, let's have a look at what the chip is, if I can see it. Okay, it's just a triple five timer. So we've got a couple of potentiometers, a couple of transistors. Um, I'm wondering, because I do have banana plugs. I'm wondering whether I should make up some make up some plugs for it. But yeah, let's uh, let's have a closer look. I'll try not to move around too much. So, so we've got three transistors, a couple of resistors, a couple of capacitors, triple five timer. Whoops, there we go. Fascinating. So that just goes in the expansion port, I guess. Oh wow, 12 month warranty. Awesome. So MFJ 1258 capacitance meter and software. Okay, so it only mentions the VIC 20 here. Uh, make sure the VIC's turned off. Never plug or unplug the board. That's always very good. Point inserted into the user port. Turn on the computer, load and run the software. The screen will display insert capacitor, hit, hit F1. So 19, April 1984. Uh, press a capacitor, place the capacitor leads between the positive and negative lugs and hit F1. Capacitor will be displayed at the top of the screen. To calibrate. Oh, okay, here we go. So that's why we've got the capacitor. So if calibration becomes necessary, use the 470 microfarad capacitor supplied to set the microfarad range. The 470 is marked with the actual value. Bloody hell, that's off. That's 574. <laughs> so this is the test one that they've supplied. Okay, so what are we talking, what? Almost 40 years, <laughs> 40 years old. So it's a 470 and they've marked it as 574, okay. Oh, it's good that this is still enclosed. Um, okay. The microfarad range trim pot is next to the negative lug on the left side of the board. The 2.2 nanofarad capacitor. Oh, okay, so that's what this one's for. Now that that's still there. Capacitor is used to set the nanofarad range. The nanofarad trim pot is next to the positive lug. Okay. Microfarad range, nanofarad range. It is not necessary. To, uh, bah, bah, bah. It is not necessary to adjust the microfarad range. Okay, so there we go. It seems simple enough. I better get out my data set and hook that up and um, see if it works. Oh, actually, let's switch on my multimeter and see what it reckons. The four seven four slash five seven. 470 slash 57 4 is worth da, 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 da. Let's have a look the one thing I get accused of is like oh you should have a 
you should have a proper power supply with current limiting. I said, yes, I do. I've got one. I just don't use it all the time. Okay. So, capacitance. Uh, where's the camera? Longer leg is always positive. It's a quick, easy way to remember. Longer leg, positive. Okay. And it is, what does it say? So mine reckons it's about 506 microfarads. Okay. <laughs> All right. And that's with nothing touching. All right. So let's see what we get on this then. Okay. We're kind of set up. Plugged into the user port, tape, right? We've got the VGA working as well. And I'm not bypassing the, um, not bypassing the rectifier regulator, whatever. Well, I was always putting nine volts in, wasn't I? Yeah. Okay, so tape should work. So, how does this come? Oh, there we go. Put that in there. Okay, right, I don't know if that's what right, okay. Let me try and load it. Okay, oh stop just focus, focus, focus. Right. Let's see if this works. Okay, it's playing. Sign stuff. Load under MFJ twelve fifty eight. Okay. All right. Okay. Loading. So far, so good. Uh, do I have any? Uh, what have I got? I don't know if I've got any spare alligator clips that I can solder up. Let's see what I've got. Oh, there we go. Insert capacitor, okay. And let me just pause while I try and find some proper leads. Okay, this is what I was after, just some um, banana to alligator. Okay, hit insert the capacitor. All right, let's, uh, let's just rearrange a bit. The, uh, the wide angle is okay. Oh, where's that? Here we go. So, put red on there. Back on there. Hit F1. Hit F1. Hit F1. Ah. Let's have a look then. Okay, so a bit of machine code. Huh. Okay. Is my F1 key not working? So, can I do this on the RAM SMH? Okay, poke, 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 for X equals, okay, so, all right, so we're poking some machine code. Okay. Okay, ba ba ba. Get A if. All right, if okay. Yep. So. Okay. If ASCII A is not equal to one three three, so is that supposed to be F one? Is it? 
character 19, cap equals, so it should be doing something, so is my F1 just not working? That'd be really typical. Okay. Well, that sucks. Let me get a different keyboard. All right, don't do this at home, kids. Uh, all right, let's try. I didn't want to. I didn't want to change the um, keyboard whilst it was powered on, so I'm just going to load the software again. And then see if the F1 works on this one. Because even if the board doesn't work, it should still register me pressing F1, shouldn't it? And then come up and say capacitance equals blah, blah. So, but I haven't used this for a while, so I might need to give the, give the keyboard a bit of a clean again. Let's see how we go with this one. Oh, sorry, yeah, I'm making you sit through the... Oh, okay. <laughs> so, hey, it's going to take so long to load. Okay. F1. Hey, there we go. F1 again. Five seventy. Okay, and it reckons five seventy four. So, which one? Which one was the microfarad? It was the um, to calibrate. Is next to the negative? Okay, negative lug. Um, screw job here. So, which way do I go? I'm just going to try and adjust this trim pot. F1 again. Uh, no, wrong way. Uh, wrong way. What? In the deer. That's it, that's it, keep going. Close enough? Close enough. Okay, so let's try, let's try another one. Okay. 2.2 farads. Uh, negative is there, so I've got negative on there. And positive on there. Get down somewhere so it won't short on anything like that okay f1 oh that's way off 31 microfarads oh i think not it doesn't say what it's limited to does it yeah it doesn't say what range might have to get in touch with them all right, technical consultation is available by calling 601-323-5869. You have to get in touch, so... 921A Louisville Road, Starkville, Mississippi. Let's have a look on Google Maps. That's disappointing. 40 microfarads. I think not. All right. Let's try something in the nanofarad range. Let's just try a good old 104, 100 nanofarad. Just pull one of those off. So these are not polarized. So we've got a tiny little, let's see what this gives here. And F1. Okay, 114 nanofarads. That's pretty good. Oh, I'm happy with that. And it's kind of, you know, it's not going 99, 114, 105. It's kind of 110, 111. And then it prints 109. So that's... 
seems to be accurate on the lower range, doesn't it? Back in there. All right, so we don't like capacitors in the farad range. Let's try another microfarad. Stand by. Okay, last one. One microfarad. Let's see. That seemed to be a lot of effort to go to <laughs> to measure these. All right, there we go. F1. Yeah, 1.1 microfarad. So I wonder what the upper limit is. Probably have a look at the code. See if there is an upper limit. What was the last line number? 540. There's not a renum in the basic, is there? Um, what did we get up to last time? Capacitance equals 256 times y times 10.824 plus y times 4.51 plus x times 10.824 plus 5.412 divided by th oh, okay, so rather uh, rather uh, detailed calculations. All right, I'm, I'll I'll try a, a one farad. All right, here we go, one farad. Okay, longer lead is positive, shorter lead is negativo. All right, tell me. Okay, all right, it's in the right range. It's much better than what the 40 microfarads. 1154, 115, 1154, 1155. All right, well, what does my, let me just, uh, let's have a look at what my digital multimeter says. I will tell you in a minute. Just look at that beautiful big screen. Mm -hmm. Come on, what's the capacitance? Mm -hmm. 10.30. 10 10.30. So that one's about 120. All right, so my digital multimeter reckons it's about 1,030 microfarads. And that reckons it's 11. So this was about 120 difference. So it's 120 microfarads well. It's, it's one in <laughs> 1 1.2 of those old ones I just tested. Anyway, I thought, hope that was of some interest. The uh, capacitance testing board. Um, I, I, I like weird esoteric little things like that. So, um, yeah, there we go. Okay, that's, uh, that's all for this one. Uh, until next time.